on this bumpy 50 point inspection from Evil Twin Brewing and this one's from the uh, 12% uh, out of North Haven, Connecticut um, got their ET Left Home 3 this is a 7% Imperial Berliner style vice beer with sweet cherry mango and orange uh, this was just canned in October sometime I believe October 6th so about a month old now I did have this upside down uh, because this one is not like any typical Berliner Weiss all right let's go ahead and pour it it's building that head a uh, nice pink head to this one tight bubbles it's fizzing uh, a nice purple plum coloration to the body of the beer um, this one is definitely opaque cannot see through it most Berliner vices you're gonna find to be kind of thinner and uh, you can sometimes see through them a bit uh, this one's loaded with puree the aromas on this it's a mix between like the sweet cherry and the mango that I get right up front uh, there is a slight citrusy vibe, but I mean the orange aroma itself is kind of hidden be behind that uh, sweet cherry and the mango, but there is a citrus note in there. All right, there's no uh, no malts, no malts to speak of um, in the aromas. Uh, it's very puree forward. So, cheers, first wick. This thing is an extremely full, thick, viscous body um, loaded with puree this is more like a heavily pureed fruited sour carbonation is pretty uh, pretty spritzy it's loaded with fruit um, notes sweet cherry get that orange right there right after that sweet cherry note it goes to that nice real citrus orange uh, like orange juice and then uh, it does follow up with a nice sweet mango. So this one's kind of sweet, tart, sweet again. Uh, a little bit of a sourness or tartness to it. Uh, kind of at the beginning of the sip to the middle of the sip. And it gets kind of sweet again, like I said, with a mango. All right, yeah, decent, decent tartness to it. So as I drink it more, the tartness seems to hold on there a bit longer um, now if I was gonna rate this to style yeah I wouldn't call this thing a Berliner Weiss at all this is this is just a heavily fruited puree sour beer um, the new age of sour beers uh, it is leaving some nice lacing some uh, fruit puree kind of yeah kind of little little bit of the uh, puree chunks in there not as chunky as some of them have been but all right let's go ahead and give this one a uh... As I stated, uh, if this was, if I was going to really rate this thing too style, I mean, it's not too style at all. Um, I don't know why they called it a Berliner style vice beer, but uh, anywho, um, appearance, I'll give it the six out of six. It is a, it is a beautiful looking beer, I think. Uh, the aromas on it. Uh, very nice aromas. Um, I mean, really not expecting to get some malt presence really in in the aromatics, or um, really all that much in the flavor in, in this type of beer. Oh, I just belched up some orange there. 
Uh, but in the aromatics, like I said, I really wasn't picking up on the orange note that's in there. So that's kind of like another. Um, it was just slightly citrus. But uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for the aroma. On the flavor, um, yeah, everything's picked up. It's nice. It is It is a tart uh, to sour. Um, sweet as well. Uh, all the all the purees, the adjuncts that are added in there are coming through on the palate. It's got a beautiful body to it for a few heavily fruited pureed sour. A uh, bit thick for a Berliner Weiss for sure. They're usually thinner in body. Uh, and uh, yeah, not, uh, not full of puree typically. Uh, but anyways, the way that this beer drinks, it's it's really nice not expecting to pick up on the malts uh once again uh, this is just fruit, fruit puree with alcohol for the most part alcohol note is not detectable at seven percent either um, not warming and not present on the palate we'll go with the uh 19 out of 19 for the flavor body it's it's got a nice thick um viscous body to it um smooth on the palate as well uh, i'm gonna give it a five out of five my overall for this one i am gonna ding it just a little bit because it's called the berliner vice it's kind of false advertising um so i enjoy this beer it tastes awesome uh smells great I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for my overall just because I was expecting something totally different than this. I am pleased that it is it is this type of a, of a sour. It's, it's very nice, but it's not a Berliner Weiss. Come on, Eagle Twin. Um, so for E.T. Left Home 3 from Evil Twin Brewing, it's going to get a bumpy 48 out of 50, which is going to leave this as an excellent beer. Cheers. Don't be tricked. It's not a learner advice. Thank you all for watching.